Hello everyone! Welcome to Kral Isaya Yasha! Kral Isaya Yasha! MashaAllah! I'm saying this. Well, this is a timeline in which the Ottoman Empire, the glorious Islamic Sultanate, becomes Christian. So, you know, this is a little bit, well, a lot of alternate history. So let us go on to some couple dates and, well, year dates, not, you know. <laughs> well, anyways, so in 1793, France and Spain go to war over Argentina and Uruguay. Well, it's a small dispute, but the French government, due to their losses in that war, they think they have a master plan. Why not invade Spain itself? Why not completely invade Spain? So that's what the French government decides to do. So the French army, they take a gigantic army, they send their soldiers down to Spain, and they absolutely crush the Spanish. Well, that's what they were planning on doing. You see, the French army is corrupt and inefficient. So, their plan backfired, and soon, Spanish troops were in France. Well, what did the French do as a reaction? Well, there's a little officer in the French army. Young artillery officer, in fact. His name, Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. He does a complete reverse uno card of the war. Meaning, the Spanish, which were previously in France, well, the French completely invaded Spain. Under Napoleon's command, France conquered the entirety of Spain. And well, after conquering Spain, the Spanish royal family, they fled to Lisbon. They and the Portuguese royal family, they came under siege. Well, because Portugal allied with Spain in the war. Right as Napoleon arrived, they made a daring escape with the protection of the Royal Navy. The Portuguese Royal Family, they landed in Brazil, whilst the Spanish Royal Family, they went around the Straits of the Magellan, and they headed to Lima. Napoleon, well, he returned to France from his victory in Lisbon. By this time, there is low support for the Bourbon, for the House of Bourbon, and, well... Napoleon marched on Paris, demanding a Roman-style victory with his troops. He proclaimed to be a new Julius Caesar. Voila! Imagine the arrogance. Well, Louis the 16th, well, he panicked and he refused to let him in. So the Republicans, they seized the moment and they declared a revolution and they stormed Versailles. They forced Louis back into Paris. Napoleon, he arrived in Paris and the Republicans let him in because, well, they believed that they could work out a deal. Napoleon was not too fond of the liberals, so let's just say he massacred him and he captured Louis. He told Louis the Sixteenth, "Look, all I wanted was a parade, a Roman-style victory parade. That's all I wanted. I got my wish, but..." I'm offering you a chance to repent. Well, a chance to, um, 
you know, make things right. If you can beat me in a duel, if you can beat me in a duel, guess what? Well, I'll be dead. You will have bested me in combat. It will be, well, France will be yours for the taking. My troops will swear loyalty to you. If I beat you, well, you're gone. Napoleon made that offer to the king in public. Well, King Louis XVI, he said, hell no. And there are consequences to telling Napoleon no. So, Louis refused and he was sent to prison. He was arrested. And Napoleon had his parade, during which Louis the Sixteenth he was paraded as a prisoner, and at the end he was beheaded. With the trademark guillotine. Spain and Portugal, they were already at war with France. Of course, Britain decided to help them because they're against the French. Austria, well, they declared war because the wife, because Marie Antoinette was, execu was executed, although technically it would be a different person. We're still going to call her Marie Antoinette. It's an equivalent. She's executed. And so... Well, that's the case of Austria declared war. The Ottomans declared war on France since they saw themselves as the true Roman successors and Sweden joined the war as an Ottoman ally. The Netherlands, Naples, Prussia, and Sardinia, all being small states, they felt very threatened and they joined the coalition. In 1804, despite all odds, France trashed the coalition. Utterly crushing. Napoleon is now so successful that his troops declared him Imperator and he proclaimed the French Empire and he called himself Napoleon César Napoleon Caesar well that's the episode we will leave it for episode 7 which is the finale you are going to love the finale uh, Micah and I, we've done a lot of planning. It will go over the rest of the Napoleonic Wars, how it all ends. And of course, after the finale, I will promise you this, that by... I will say, by May 30th, I promise you then, that, guess what? I will be back. By May 30th, May 30th at the latest, Season 2 will be completely ready. Well, most likely. You know, we don't know what's going on, but we will start Season 2 very soon. Inshallah. Well, anyways, das vidanya tawarishi, tedo banzai, and most importantly, Kral Isaiah Yasha! Kral Isaiah Yasha! By the way, at the finale, I ain't going to be telling massive spoiler, but that's where we will find, that's where you guys will find out where I've gotten this timeline, where the name of this timeline has come from. Well, anyways, this is Julius Caesar getting stabbed by Brutus.